Hey everybody on YouTube, it's Icy and I'm giving you an one of another tutorial for snow game videos. Today's um, is about um, Cortana. Cortana, if you guys know what Cortana is, Cortana is a, a, a UI, an artificial intelligence that you have on a lot of Windows devices. There's also one for iOS known as Siri. But with the new Windows 10 and the Pro versions and all the other Windows 10 debug versions that you have now, you have Cortana embedded into a Windows computer, which is actually pretty cool because I do like it. It's like you can now talk to a computer. It's actually pretty badass to be honest. But what's actually happened in the latest debug version, there's actually a really big error. For some re weird reason, you actually cannot open Cortana anymore. So it kind of makes the computer almost useless when it comes to doing any searching for any file on a computer because Cortana literally does your searches so it's your search index for your computer so if you need to find a file for example you actually physically need to know where it is which is kind of sad it does kind of ruin it it does kind of make Windows 7 when it's 8.1 a lot better than their current 10 dev version but luckily um, earlier on today I've actually found a way to fix this really stupid error and as you guys know like I said about the, the build version I'm actually using is the latest one at, from this the point of recording is one is one zero zero seven four um, that's the latest Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview build. So what I'm going to show you is this is Cortana not working. So as you can see at the bottom left, you got the little circle for search, which is Cortana. So if I click, it should load up Cortana. So if I left click, as you can see, nothing pops up. And I can click this as many times as I want, and it will not click uh, or anything will load. But in fact, Cortana does start to load the location. Does. So if I actually go to this tab, you can just see sometimes you'll see that the location thing will just pop on but in this case no it's not because Cortana is just not working at all and for people who are on the um, old versions you'll know that to actually get Cortana working when you first get Windows 10 you have to do a region switch to um, to make your computer think its region is American um, the reason why is because well, they because it's still in um, development they actually have the only working version of Windows 10 is American which is kind of sad for anyone in any other countries for example like me because uh, I live in London it's a lot harder but then I have to have everything chain that includes keyboards and all the other stuff as well which makes life a little bit hell for me to be a programmer but then again it's not that much of a problem for me but to fix this stupid Cortana bug is really really stupid but what you do is you go to where you can see the ENG for your keyboard setting I like can see it's currently on US keyboard you left click it and click language preferences and it will load up the time and language um, Windows 10 pre settings preview thing it's I like it it's compared to the old uh, control panel it is a lot better so what you actually do is instead of what I've currently done which I've changed it to United States I in fact do the complete opposite. So what I need to do is I need to go into the keyboard over here. I need to right left click onto United Kingdom and I need to set it back to default. So it will say it will change it on the next sign in. So it's now currently still in the United States, but when I sign in again from the computer, it will go into back to United Kingdom. What I need to also do is I need to go back to the region change and change it back to the original country, in my case United Kingdom. And then after I've done this, these two, I need to click this little button here that loads up the control panel, the original control panel. Click on location for here for the region and do the same thing again. So as you know, I changed it back here. So it's now United Kingdom, not US. I click on formats. I change this e English to United Kingdom English. I click apply and I go to administrative, click on the local and change that also to United Kingdom. And I click OK and it asks you to restart and I'll tell you exactly what happens after you restart so give me a, give me a few seconds and once we're back um, you can see that it should look identical to how it was but as you can see I've not actually loaded up um, Cortana yet but what I'm going to do just before I do I'm just going to show you guys that everything has saved so if I go over the keyboards you can now see that UK keyboards now the top and default if I go to the language preferences you can see that everything's now set to United Kingdom then you can see English keyboard here, United Kingdom region. I go to actual region bit and for location, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, and United Kingdom, as you can see. So now, if we try to load up Cortana now, it's gonna actually load. Weirdly, I don't know why this happens. Maybe it was that like someone else had to fix old versions, but maybe now it doesn't work in, in America. I don't know. But as you see, I can click search. 
And there we go. There's Cortana. Hi, Bedron. How can I help? And everything works perfectly fine because I've got five tries in that message. I don't know if it's going to work because I'm using the same microphone. But we'll just give it a quick try. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. Let me just put the piece. Actually, no, I should be able to pick it up. If I say. Give it a second. What time is it, Cortana? There we go. I don't know why you open up a game, but as you can see, it is working again. Okay, let's just make it easier for it then. What time is it? Right now, it is 17.42 in London. There we go. As you can see, it's working perfectly. I don't know why this, how you fix it, just by putting everything back to normal. Maybe it was something because they knew the region was all the way to fix it before. But I think I might be the only person who's actually found this fix. So if this fix helped you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to share it with all your friends and put it onto your Google Plus pages and your Twitter. Because it helps not just me, but it helps people who don't know how to fix this. Because this was a really big bug for me. This kind of annoyed me a lot because I couldn't do anything. Because it kind of made me actually consider going back to Windows 7. As you guys know, I'm always on Windows 7. But I really wanted to upgrade and go future proof. So if this video helped you hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel because i do loads of other tutorials and i'll do other gaming videos as well so don't forget to try that out and stay awesome trips see you guys next time